Hello, you are watching the JTM show and today I have a very special guest. He's a good friend, he's a good brother <laughs> and he will present himself. And he's right here beside me. Hello brother Lucas. Hi. How are you doing? Ah, thank God, I'm yeah. okay. No, nice to see you. Oh, nice to see you too. Nice that you could come today. Oh, it's my pleasure. Bro. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> Man, you know, we have been watching you. I've been all watching you always on the, oh. the TV, YouTube, and you know, and you really have nice songs, you know. Really, yeah, but thank God for that. That's good. <laughs> but one of my question is, first of all, how did you start to sing? Wow, very good question, bro. Yeah, as far as I can remember. I started when I was very, very young. I was, I don't remember, I was five, almost there. Yeah. I don't remember. Five years old. Yeah, I started singing in um, children choir, in churches. I grew up, it's, that is something I grew up with. So I said like a child singer in a, we called it Chipukizi, Watoto. <laughs> 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 so I started there, I was singing in a, started learning how to play guitar when I was around 10. So, yeah. yeah. Mm. So, do you play the guitar? I try. Yeah. <laughs> and a little bit of keyboard. Uh -huh. I try. That's cool. Yeah, but yeah. it's been a long time since yeah. I learned, so it's yeah. been, yeah, sometimes I just, I don't prefer playing. I prefer more singing than playing. Wow. Mm. And anyway, today we are in Ore. Yes. C can you tell a little bit your story of music here in Norway. How did it start? Wow. <laughs> Good question. Um, here in Norway, um, oh, well, how, how am I going to say this? It started, let me say, about uh, recording stuff, but usually I've been always singing in the church. Uh, from the first day I came to Norway, I was in this place called Vatso, mm -hmm. North Norway. There we started a group and uh, we were playing music and I was kind of a uh, praise and worship leader there. And um, I started singing from the first day I came to Norway. But about recording songs, after I had moved from North, came to Oslo, first time before I moved, I went to see a friend in Sheehan, and there I met with Brother Jojo. And for the first time we met, we went into the studio and recorded a song, me and him and Papi. Oh, that's true. I heard that song. Yeah. Oh, man, that was a very good song. Yeah, that yeah. was my first time I'm in the studio. Actually, it was my second time because before uh, we, we used to sing, I used to sing with my brother, Leonard. And uh, it was not gospel songs. And there I was not feeling comfortable because I have always been comfortable in singing for God. So when I came and first time I met with Papi and Jojo, we were in the studio and we started recording that song. There is where everything started. And when I came to Oslo, I was uh, in school program and at the same time working. And... Um, I just got into my heart that I should do something and I started composing songs and one of my first songs I really love and remember and is, is about uh, uh, the last days from my first album that called No More Wasting Time and, uh, and the other one was uh, By Your Grace, it's only by His Grace. Those are two of my favorite songs that I started writing when I moved to Oslo and I recorded them there. <laughs> yeah, that is how I started. And from there, I came to the, now where I am on my second album that I love so much. Yes. Mm. Man, uh, this a song that you just mentioned, mm. Last Days, mm. No More Wasting Time. Mm. C can you talk a little bit about it? Yeah, <laughs> that song, 
I don't know. I was in um, this student house where I was living, and uh, it just came in my mind. And I started. I was watching some videos on YouTube and how things, uh, how just things are happening around the world, and uh, comparing to what the Bible says. Then I just felt like we are in the last days, and as the Bible says, no one knows the day that Jesus will come. And I got this text and the melody, and I started singing it. It was just beautiful. And I got, after recording it, I got one sister who was listening to the song. She even, she got um, her first vision. It was like a dream. She dreamed about the last day. And it was because of that song, she was, when she told me that, I was like, wow. So God has revealed this to me. And he's still reviewing this to, 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 to his people. Yeah. This girl is no one other than Iveta. She told me about how she started getting these dreams about the last days after hearing that song. So, is it actually a very beautiful song? I'm planning of doing a remix of it or maybe come with a video of it. Exactly. So, it's, I love it. And, yeah, and we should know that we are living really in the last days because no one knows what the next hour will be like. Jesus may even come now. So we need to be ready. We have no more time to waste. So let, let me ask you a, one question about it again, okay? Yeah. For you, what it is to waste time mm. and what it is for you to not waste time? You know, people are focused now on uh, just physically things. Like, I have to be rich, I must have a good house, I must have a beautiful car. And they have forgotten the most important thing, that is uh, soul, your own soul. Your soul, that is the most important thing you should worry about. Of course, having those riches, having money, having houses, having good life, of course, it's good and we must have it, but that is not our des de destiny. What do you think is our destination? Heaven, yeah. of course, is our destination because having good education, good work, and all of these things, they just sustain me in this life, this short life, because no matter what we do, no one has the guarantee of living 100 years. So we have to prepare ourselves. Of course, living good life and at the same time focusing on where we are going, all of these things I've mentioned, they just sustain me in this life, but they are not the purpose of me living. Me living here, God created me because He wants me to present Him on this earth. He wants me to, to work for Him and focus more on Him. So wasting time is like when you just focus on the things that is just physically and you forget about God, you forget about uh, your creator. Exactly. You know, let's talk a little bit about purpose. Mm. I think everyone is here on earth for a reason. Mm. You understand? Yes. And what do you think if someone lives many years mm. on this earth and they don't actually live their purpose? <laughs> you understand? Because you're talking about last times and wasting time. Mm. You understand? Do you think people can waste their time on um, chasing things that are not to be chased? You know, of instead course. of chasing their purposes, their mm. pur uh, pur uh, purpose of life. Of course, uh, many people now. You know, even the Bible says that at the last days, people will care more of themselves. And we think that we care more about ourselves, but actually, in reality, we are wasting our life away. Because if you are chasing the purpose, you think that is the purpose in your life, which are really, in reality, not, then you are not living your purpose. Living your purpose is because, let me say something, uh, you know, there are people. Uh, let me just give an example like here in Norway, there are people who have everything, but yet they lack happiness. You are rich, you have money, you have everything, but you lack happiness. 
people are committing suicide, people are killing themselves. Why? And they have everything. Why? So you mean, if you find your purpose, mm. then you will find happiness? Of course. And the purpose of li is living for Jesus, because he's the only one that gives peace. Take an example in Africa, there are people who have nothing, but they, they, they live happily life, because they love Jesus. That is the purpose. Loving Jesus, you're living for him. That is the purpose. And when you love him, everything else that you are worried about, they will be added unto you. And that's true, because the Bible says, seek first the kingdom of God. Of course. Mm -hmm. After seeking it, you have peace. Mm -hmm. And he will give you everything. And Abraham everything was rich. will be added. <laughs> they will be added, added unto you. So we don't have to worry. Uh, and we worry a lot because we put first uh, our, our desire of having happy life that we think is happiness mm -hmm. without Jesus and we forget the most important thing because uh, if I read one uh, it was one man of God who said that if you you want to live happy life Jesus is number one right start with him and the other things even if they're zero you added you adding zero after one every zero you write is worth it Starting with one, yeah. every zero after one is worth it. You start with ten, hundred, thousand, and billions. But if you start your own desire, it's like everything you have, everything you do is zero. And starting with zero and putting one, even if you put nine, it's still zero. So the purpose is one, put Jesus and put every zero thing in your life. It'd be worth it. Well, that was wise. <laughs> Let's go to your songs. Yes. You have you have wrote many songs, and well, I'm sure many of them are your favorites. <laughs> if I'm not wrong, right? <laughs> but uh, yes, guys, we have some people that are saying hi to you. <laughs> Just follow us. <laughs> and man, what is your really, really favorite songs out of all the songs that you have written? Um, really, as you said, all my songs are my favorite, yeah. of course. But there's this song, Kimbelio. Kimbelio, <laughs> it has um, very, very, it means a lot to me. Because, you know, in life we go through things. And those things, we go through them for us to learn. And they say that what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. And Kimbilio is after what I have been through, what we all go through. Of course, there are people around you who you some, somehow you put trust in them. But later, they come and disappoint you. And the only good friend and true who is always there for you is only Jesus. So in Kimbilio, I say that Jesus only is my refuge. Because where everyone left me, where uh, when um, all my friends, all the people I trusted disappointed me, still I had Jesus. And He's the only true friend that will always be there for you, no matter what go what will go wrong in your life. He's always there. Your parents may leave you, your brothers may leave you, your wife, your husband may leave you, your sisters may leave you, your family may leave you, but only him will always be there for you. And for the English speaker, Kimbilione, it means, I mean, a place you can run to when you're in trouble or something like that, you know, a place where you can always run to. And like Brother Slay say, Jesus, he's the place where you can run to. He's the person where you can run to in time of trouble. You understand? Brother Slay. <laughs> let, let, me, let me ask you a question, okay? Yes. What will you say to people who doesn't believe in Jesus? 
you understand mm. when they're going through hard situations mm. you know they, surely they've heard about Jesus but they don't, they don't believe in him you understand mm. they run to friends I mean some of them they, they, they go and party mm. drinks and get food just to, to forget the things that are going through in their lives you understand mm. but why do we encourage people or we do encourage people to run to Jesus you know depression it kills when someone takes the decision of killing him or herself is after losing hope you give up say no this I cannot take it anymore and you start thinking and imagining that there is no meaning of me continue living this life I just have to take my life just kill myself you have no hope at all that is the thinking you get when you don't have Jesus because you don't trust in him but let me tell something just give it a try don't just go and taste because he said that come and taste see how good he is give it a try give up your life of course you have no hope no one can help you run to him give your life to him and see how he will deal with your problems. So you encourage people to run to Jesus. Of course. Not to parties. Nope. Not to alcohol. Nope. Not to get drunk. You're right there. <laughs> drink, drinking. Of course, there are some people who's, who think that drinking or get, getting drunk, mm. you forget true problems mm. uh, for a while. Of course, in that few minutes, you get drunk, you're not yourself. Mm. You, pre you pretend like there's nothing going on in your life. Mm -hmm. But really, in reality, the next day is when you face the, real, the, real, the, the reality. Yes. Mm. Mm. So, getting drunk will never help you unless you only run to Jesus. Don't fool yourself that I'm drinking because I'm going through a hard time. <laughs> that drinking will never help you. It just causes more, more trouble, problem to you. So, What is the last word you can tell to the people that are following us about Kimbilio? Kimbilio, uh, to those who understand Swahili, as he said, is a place where you can run to place you put your trust in uh, when everyone has disappointed you you know that you have a place where you run a quiet where, where you get comforted and you have more happiness in that place than in anyone else uh, in, any, in anything else just run to Jesus when the trouble are surrounding you run only to Jesus because as I said there's no one who has guarantee of living hundred years we have to think beyond what we see I'm saying this because I know what has happened in my life I'm, I, 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 I remember I don't want to go in details but my faith is more strong every time I, I, I think of what happened to my uncle, my father's little brother who died, in the last words he said. No, <laughs> man. Every time I think of that, I encourage myself that I'm in the right way. I'm in the right place and where I'm supposed to, to be. Because, of course, he died, but he knows, I know where he is. He's in heaven now. And last words he said that, fight never give up so that one day we'll meet i know where i'm going because he had seen where he's going yes. and apart from that my own experience I have, I have seen things that god has revealed to me that encourages me more more and more to know that it's only god who holds our future who holds our life and who we can only put trust in Ladies and gentlemen, since we are talking about Kimbilio, 
and we are about to end this session but think about this imagine you take a fish out of water <laughs> the fish will struggle you understand the fish won't live but at a point you take the fish back in water the fish will live again and it will perform you know the swimming and everything so that's one question to you what is your water where you can really live without struggling <laughs> thank you so much for showing for watching us and keep in tune see you next time thank you <laughs> thank you for coming man Neta imba sifa za kosiku zote za maisha yangu Kwa kuwa ni wewe tu Bwana kimbili ya wangu Ni wewe tu Bwana msahara wangu Ni wewe tu Bwana kiongo